Now, the FCC presenting a controversial new set of rules ahead of a landmark vote today regulating Internet access in much the same way uh, our telephones are regulated. It's called net neutrality. It's been the subject of fierce debate in, on D.C. and beyond, with proponents arguing it ensures an open Internet, while opponents say the rules will ultimately raise prices for all consumers. Peter Deuce is live in Washington to figure this out for us. Peter? And Jenna, we are just about two hours away now from seeing these five political appointees at the FCC vote on 332 pages worth of regulations that could change the way that the Internet as we know it operates. These rules have been hidden from the public to this point, but one of the Republican FCC commissioners who has read through them says the technology, or rather says the result is going to mean slower broadband, less investment in technology, and ultimately fewer broadband choices. Now, Republican lawmakers say they are hoping that if the regulations are approved with a partisan three to two vote, the courts can help them untangle the mess. We've had under the Clinton administration, the Bush administration, and for the first few years of the Obama administration, what's referred to as a light touch regulatory approach to the Internet. This would be a heavy handed, bureaucratic, government driven uh, decision making approach that is, a, is very different from what we've experienced in the past and, and presents, I think, all kinds of un, you know, legal uncertainty and is going to end up in the courts for sure. But Democrats don't think that any litigation is going to go too far. In fact, Senator Ed Markey, big-time supporter of these rules for the Internet, says, quote, the FCC has established the strongest possible constitutional grounds for a court challenge, so I don't think there's a likelihood that it will be struck down by the courts. Other Democrats, though, not so sure. Senator Claire McCaskill is now saying what we've heard a lot of Republicans express, which is a desire for Congress, instead of the FCC, to take the reins on writing these new rules for the Internet. Jenna. We'll see what happens today. Peter, thank you.